Man, I'm cooling, bro. You know I appreciate you giving me a chance to chop it up with you, bro. Come on, man. You know I gotta reach out to the real, man. That's love, bro. How you been doing, bro? For the people who not exactly sure what's going on, you'll let everybody know. I'm pretty sure everybody in the world know, though, bro. But you'll let them know exactly who I'm talking to, bro, and where you're from? Yeah, man. It's your boy, Alabama, the Don, man. Duck tape infinity zone, man. Eight times done, man. You know what? You know what, bro? I, I see you all the time, and I see you get love in the street, bro. I always wanted to ask you if I had a chance to talk to you. Is it safe for goddamn it, Alley Boy, to cool in the goddamn it hood, bro? Because I see a lot of shit with the rappers that's going on, bro. And you seem like one of them street dudes. You say, is it cool for me to be in the hood? Is it safe for you to be chilling in the hood, bro? Or you put up somewhere? It depends on the type. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just Yeah, most definitely, bro. You know, I kind of feel like you an OG, Alley Boy, even though you're a young spirit. I kind of feel like you an OG, bro. Have you been noticing how these young guys been acting crazy, bro? What's wrong with these young people, broski? Man, I just look at this shit like, man, them, they in their cowboy days, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, every every young, if you done really been out there like the way I, I like, I've been out there, you know what I'm saying? Unfortunately, you know what I'm saying? But I really, I was kind of a little hands-on. Right. Like they're in the streets a little more than others, like on some, you know, like, you know, the money tip too, but we just on some gangster shit too. And it's like every young nigga that I had, they cowboy days when they just didn't give a fuck, you know what right. I'm saying? They ready to just shoot whatever, like, and ready to just, you know, when you young, man, and you find out the power that pills, man, was like any nigga, nigga, I can down there make 99% of niggas buy down. To these motherfuckers, as soon as I up it on them, you know what I'm saying? Right. Or, or when you take a, a nigga life, you know what I'm saying? You take a person life or something like that, build some niggas up, you know what I'm saying? And you know you got something in your hand or on you, but there's those who hide behind that pistol. But it's just the mentality when you when you young, man, you just don't begin to fuck. You don't really know the consequences to mm. shit. And, me, I went to prison twice, young, before I was 25, you know what I mean? Mm. Then we started, then we started pushing the music, you know what I'm saying? It was like, man. Bro, with the music. I like, fuck, someone's just gonna have to learn, bro. They gotta learn from the experience, bro, and mm. go ahead and merch on Right, you know, you brought up the music shit. I kind of feel like music kind of changed. How you like the new wave music? You okay with it? Uh, you like the, 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 the old heads who not really fucking with the new school music? Is this rap shit fool, bro? I hear a lot about this rap shit really fake. It's not really true. These rap niggas ain't really your friends. These labels ain't really your homeboys. It ain't really you about your talent. That, How can you expect that from a motherfucker you ain't come up with? A motherfucker you ain't growing with or that. I don't expect that from no nigga I've been met as a rapper. Right. Man, if you know me as an boy, you met me as an boy, you really don't know me. Right. Like, period. Not saying I done met people and not saying I'm being fake. Right. You, you, wasn't, you wasn't around doing my struggle. When, yeah. I, when, when Adam Boy came to pass, and it's like, we, we, we were pushing music, we were still, we were still, we, we in the street, period, we just street, we just where we from, period, so we always gonna be there. But, right. like, before we started getting popularity, it was, you know what I'm saying, it was like, 
know, man. I feel crazy. All right. Like, it's just, you know, it's, it's, it's so fake, bro, but you can't expect no, man. You only gonna have, like, a couple people, man, your circle who always gonna support you and shit at all the time, and they might be most of your immediate family. You know what I'm saying? Like, other uh-huh. than that, and you just gotta roll with the punches, man. But I ain't never looked to no rapper for a friend. If we met and we linked in and locked in and it was real, that was what it was. But I ain't doing that shit for no Instagram pictures. I don't want no pitch with no niggas who ain't really cool with me and all that shit. Right. Fuck all that. You know what I'm <laughs> I feel you on that, bro. You know, I don't like to really steal up old shit, but you know my name, Truth Teller. So when I kind of told some of the fans that I would had a chance to talk to you that fast on live, yeah, you know. Open book, bro. Uh, 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 okay. You know, a little while ago, I'm actually a Chicago blogger, so it's a little incident. I'm not sure if it was really big, but uh, it was brought to my attention that a little while ago, a rapper who passed away by the name of Cutthroat Vaughn had some not so nice, friendly words for you. Do you remember that incident? Yeah, I remember that. I don't really want to speak on Shorty. I don't speak on dead people, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to rub nobody people like that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a honey, bro. Like, he ain't no thing. I ain't no shorty personally or nothing. Like, you know right. what I'm saying? Like, I'm a honey. We had words back and forth over some childish shit. You know what I'm saying? No right. one man love to speak on that, bro, because shorty ain't here to defend itself. So I wouldn't never even speak on the situation like I'm down and shorty in no kind of way or nothing. Or like I had something to do with it and no shit like that. I got too much respect. Right. Period. And I wouldn't want nobody to do my people like that. Right. I don't even want to talk about that situation too much now. Right. I honor that. I can respect that too. Bro, that's just out of respect. And it ain't about being scared. Right. Nobody being scared of me or nothing, man. I just, I ain't ripping off of nothing. I ain't had nothing to do with it. Right. I'm trying to throw no dirt on people. Don't know nigga great. Right. Don't do that well, you know what I'm saying? So. I feel you. I just couldn't I couldn't get out this one without asking you, bro. I kind of debated that. I wanted to know, too, bro, because I know you got a relationship with uh, OG Atlanta, OG KK. Now, that's a good dude. I actually interviewed him a couple times. And, uh, you know, he every now and then, he didn't hit me up and um, talk to me and shit like that. Y'all still got a relationship? Yeah, that's the homie. You know what I mean? Like, you know, bro, like, he's from the six, you know what I mean? I look from East Atlanta and shit, so that's my nigga. You know, he duck tape. He got a DT in his face, so he mob. You know, all us be, be together. We want. Right. You know, I ain't gonna lie, it's a few videos with you, bro, that kinda went viral with you not on a like so friendly. Is you approachable type of dude? Can artists come up to you, give you their demos and shit like that? Oh uh, yeah, man. Like I ain't no nigga like that, man. We just <laughs> not here. <laughs> man, I'm gonna just say this, like when you say some some negative shit, a motherfucker can say some positive shit, and then you even gonna travel that much. Motherfuckers be like, boy, I did this fool some good shit. Right. But motherfuckers say you like, oh man, dude got beat up, man, dude got shot, dude got killed. Just think how quick the world about somebody getting killed, man. Niggas still be laying on the ground in the internet, though he did. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like people at the at, right there at the shoe. I have a, uh, they'll be on their live these days, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, more the ace out, you know what I mean? So it's like, man, shit just different, bro. You know mm. what I'm saying? Like, so all that internet shit, man, you just have it. All media is good media, man. And if you got thick skin, if you don't, my nigga, you can't take it. Bro, you don't need to even be trying to rap. You don't even need to be trying to put yourself out here like you know what I'm saying? Right. You can't accept whatever comes to you about this shit. And I'm just one of them who willing to. I've been, I've been out there like that. You right. know what I'm saying? I, I, I don't, I really, I don't give a fuck. Right. I really don't. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I know how to protect me. I know how to protect me to the best of my ability, whether right. I win or lose in a situation. Right. But I'm gonna always come where I felt like I was able to handle me. You know what I'm saying? I'm right. a man. I can handle myself. So it's like whatever. Right. Whatever comes with whatever, you just gotta live life like that. But you gotta know it's gonna be more hate country when you do the music. But niggas don't hate you for whatever you do. Right. You get the money, they gonna hate. If you don't, they gonna hate. Not saying everybody's just hating, but you know you gotta expect some shit. Right. Facts, bro. Um, any new projects, bro? Anything that people can go check out? Yeah, man. 
man. We just dropped the Infinity State. Me and Amar just say Infinity State. Uh. Everybody from the squad on there. Uh, my little brother Trouble just dropped that 16. He, he growing up. My uh. brother Black he just dropped that King of the Jungle. Uh, my brother just came home, El Dorado Red. We finna do this Black Rose. This Black Rose Return of the Mar too. I'm finna drop this Alley God CD. You know what I'm saying? Like, we just turned up, man. Like, we just doing the whole, we just moving as a whole, man. Keep everybody buzzed. You know what I'm saying? Everybody mm. just put the work out, period. Mm. But it get all to stream one way, all the way back to Duck Face. Alright, if people want to get out with you, Alley Boy, you know, somebody want to try to get a feature from you or something, man, or somebody want to get some of that OG advice from you, where can they find you at on all your social medias? They can hit me up on my, uh, on my email or whatever, it's on Alley Guard C, Alley Guard C, you know what I'm saying, you can hit me up on my email, you know what I'm saying, Okay, you got an artist one before we get up out of here, Ali. You got an artist trying to get in this shit today. He don't know what to do. He just decided he want to rap. He want to be a rapper. He he got a chance to listen to an OG in this shit. Somebody who did this shit for real. What advice would you give him, bro? Man, believe in yourself first, man. Best in yourself if you bless to if you bless to put your money into yourself, man. Believe in yourself and believe in the people that you you fucking with, man. Like really go at it, man. Uh huh. What's something they shouldn't do, bro? What's something they should stay away? Some the hell they should stay the fuck away from. That's gonna mess everything up from them, bro. Man, stay away from suckers, man. Uh. These suckers, and I mean there's bitches and niggas. Just stay sucker free, man, and always be a well to free lunch, man. Stay damn free. Everything got a cost. So, you know, you might be young, you might got talent, you can't see yourself a millionaire yet when you touch a lane in your pocket. Somebody might come to you on something. Man, just always be aware of that paperwork, man. You know what I'm saying? No paper. Let the motherfuckers tell you they're gonna make you rich. I don't care if it's manager or whoever. Let you know there's gonna be some digits that gonna make you a billionaire behind. Mm. You, you, you gotta read those paperwork. You know mm. what I'm saying too, but let it be let it let, let, let you don't wanna be obligated to nobody unless you breach. I obligate myself to this bum knowing my whole family to be behind. Alright, thanks bro. I appreciate